Hello, welcome to Salty Beaver Explorers. I'm Uta and this is Ron. And today we are in Salmon Arm and we're going to be driving back to Blind Bay. To give you a little context of our drive today, we're driving from Salmon Arm, which is located in the southern interior of British Columbia on Highway 1 to Blind Bay. I apologize for the dirty windshield, but it is February and it snowed overnight. Now warmer temperatures during the day have melted the snow, causing the wet roads to spray up. We're starting at the east end of Salmon Arm and have just pulled onto Highway 1, also called the Trans-Canada Highway. This highway is a transcontinental federal provincial highway that travels through 10 Canadian provinces from the Pacific Ocean all the way to the Atlantic. It is one of the longest routes of its type in the world, spanning 7,821 kilometers. Salmon Arm is located on the shores of Shuswap Lake and was settled in the 1880s on Sequetmik traditional territory. The city takes its name from one of the four arms of Shuswap Lake, the Salmon Arm, so named due to the large runs of salmon that used to run up the creeks that empty into the lake. Many tourists visit the area in the summer, enjoying campgrounds, warm weather, boating, houseboat rentals, beaches, and many parks. The city is home to the largest wooden wharf in North America. In 2019, Maclean's magazine rated Salmon Arm the best place to live in British Columbia and the sixth best place to live in Canada. The census population in 2016 was 17,706 but it is now closer to 20,000. Here we are coming up to the old courthouse, constructed between 1929 to 1931 in the Tudor style. Located in the centre of Salmon Arm, it is considered its premier historical landmark. The Canadian Pacific Railway was completed in 1885 and runs through Salmon Arm, which created the growth of the town. The railway tracks parallel the highway corridor. Like pure
that knock on your door is sounding further away. Don't lose sight, life was times before. This is now today. When life shows an open door, come on, step a chance like the purest gold. The First Nation Sequepmic peoples resided in the area for thousands of years, fishing the shores of Shushwap Lake, and continues to contribute to salmon arms diversity. This tract of land on the right, known as Reserve Land, is set aside for the local First Nations people. This is one of several in the area. there is construction underway on the highway. A new bridge is being built over the Salmon River and the highway is to be expanded to four lanes. It's open road. It's open road. It's open Here in British Columbia, on most routes, we are required to use studded tires or mud and snow rated tires between October 1st and March 31st. That date is extended to April 1st if traveling in mountain passes or high snowfall areas. Tappan has a population of 853, according to the 2016 census, and it's known for its traditional and hobby farms, light industry, forestry, and large artisan community. 
It's also home to Recline Ridge, Granite Creek, and Sunny Bray wineries. Tappan owes its name to George Tappan, a subcontractor who camped there in 1884 while laying track for the Canadian Pacific Railway. Tappan is also known as Rust Valley. Coming up is the White Post Auto Museum, which is a must-see for vintage car fanatics. The property behind the museum is the location of History Channel's Rust Valley Restorers, which is distributed internationally by Netflix and shown as a Netflix original show. My name is Mike Hall, and over the last 40 years, against better judgment, I managed to amass over 400 classic cars. These cars are my legacy. But that's how things roll here in Rust Valley. The next community up is Carlin, named after Michael Boone's Carlin, a lumberman in the 1880s and 1890s who managed a lumber mill in the area with a logging operation. The community is known for its community hall and school which services a large area. Corn is grown in the fields you see on either side of the highway. Cause the devil's on my trail. is the Dream Cycle Motorcycle Museum. We are turning off at the Balmoral Road intersection to take us into Blind Bay. This is one of two exits into the community of approximately 2,000 people. Blind Bay is another tourist area on Shushwap Lake with its various recreational activities on and off the lake, plus its 18-hole championship golf course with an airstrip. To get you, you better pray. once known as Trapper's Landing due to its location on the south side of Shushwap Lake. It became a junction for European settlers to travel and transport goods to the North Shushwap. We are where she comes calling all right, saying baby, 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 let's wait some time. And this 
is now the end of our 30 kilometer trip from Salmon Arm to Blind Bay, British Columbia. And that concludes our drive for the day. Right? I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, leave us a thumbs up and a comment and please consider subscribing. We really appreciate all of your support.